one of the first things I want to talk about is going to be the MD5 checker. Now the MD5 checker is a program that I downloaded from the internet. It's very free. By the way, we're going to pull up another section. Let's go right into VMware. We're going to also do that as well. Is we're going to bring up the VMware. Um, basically what we're going to do is run virtual machines, which is going to be pretty interesting as well. So here we're going to just bring up VMware Workstation and then we're going to find the executable that I have in here. So a lot of you already know about the VMware uh, Workstation. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up uh, momentarily. But one of the things I want to bring up to your attention is when you download the DSS V6 or V7, you want to be able to uh, download the MD5 checker. So let's go ahead and look at it. So I just got this MD5 checker program that I got off the internet. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the MD5 uh, that I've downloaded from our website. And that's going to verify the download that it is correct. A lot of times I've seen uh, downloads of the DSS v6, uh, issues with installing the DSS uh, or v6 or v7, where you're not able to um, load the DSS properly or install it properly. So here's a good tool to use. It's free. I got it off the internet that'll help you. Let's look for the VMware. Um, file, what we're going to do is run VMware Workstation. So here, we're going to pull this up, and I wanted to show you how I installed the DSS V6 or 7 will work, and I'm just using VMware Workstation. And very simply, what I did was uh, go ahead and created a new virtual machine, and I went to Custom. Then I select the defaults for the hardware compatibility. Here I just take the regular disk image. So here I have an ISO image that I'm using, the latest DSS V7, which is 6806 is the build number right here. So let's go ahead and select that. And of course I'm using uh, the Linux. I selected Debian 5 64-bit mode. And here I'll just name the, just a, we'll call it DSS V7. Select next. And for testing purposes, it's really good. I like to use either two cores or two CPUs. And then, of course, on the memory, uh, t about two gig of memory. And, of course, I select the defaults. If I'm using just VMware Workstation, uh, then I would use Bridge. And if I'm using ESXi, uh, then you can go set it for other values for NAT that will have in there for your uh, switches. And I take the defaults and create my new virtual disk. Select the SCSI. And, of course, I only need two gig. That's to install for the boot media. Now we can add more uh, capacity uh, for our, basically for your volume. So if you're using other, let's say, other capacity that you have, either you're using an SCSI target or whatnot, or if you have your own capacity internally, you can just go right here to the virtual machine settings. And then here at the hard disk, you'll see that's where we're going to boot, but we're going to add another hard disk. And so we can specify the size that we want. So we'll just take, you know, the minimum size is 8 gig. So this is what we'll do for our volume. And that's just that easy. So when you install DSS v7, here we go. We'll go ahead and show everybody. So we're booting it up. Let's go ahead and expand our window here. Here you see we show that the, the version you're running. And then it goes right into the software installer. By default, if you run, uh, if you want to run the system, then go ahead and just select the uh, architecture, and it'll boot up to DSS v7 or v6. Now, sometimes with the VM workstation, it'll expand and contract, so that's what you're seeing right now. Now we're loading it up, and what we're going to do is we're going to install DSS. So this will be a real simple way of showing you how e easy it is. And it's a perfect way also for testing. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's loading up. It's going to go ahead and boot, and it's going to go right into what's called our software installer. If you notice, while we wait by, to wait to get completed on our software installer, if you notice on the left side, I have two of them. And they're named V7, Verbose, V7 Rescue Mode. And the reason why we're setting for those is because, one, we're going to show Verbose Mode, 
and change that so when DSS loads up you could see all the drivers and everything's loaded up properly or if it fails and also rescue mode when you're halting at 59% and you cannot boot up fully the DSS here we're going to show you the software installer we select agree and of course there is our 2 gig volume that we created and that's where we're going to install DSS on so this happens very quickly and it's a very quick way to have DSS uh, v6 or v7 up and running for your test environment and especially for exploring its features and options so we're almost done it's at 60 76 percent and 100 percent and it verifies it does a file consistency check you're done you're ready to boot up the DSS which is very fast so we'll go ahead and just reboot the system by the way you want to make sure on your settings to make sure that your CD-ROM is uh, disconnected so uh, that way you're not reloading the ISO image to uh, reinstall it. So as it boots up, it shrinks and expands. I can't stand that. There we go. And you see that the software installer is completed and you won't see that again. And now you're able to boot up the DSS v6. Now we're going to let that run so you get a good feel of what's happening. Now we're going to go into verbose mode. Verbose is where we're going to go ahead and let's turn on the VMware workstation, the uh, virtual machine I have. Here the architecture, we're going to select tab key. That's where we're going to hit the tab key on your keyboard. Now once you hit the tab key after this looking at the getting at the architecture section, you'll see what you have as certain bootloader options. The only one you need to really worry about at this point is called splash equals silent. And here you have to use your cursor keys to maneuver over. You can't go up and down, uh, so you have to use the left cursor key to be able to maneuver to the position of splash equals silent. Now here's where we're going to change it to verbose. So we're going to delete this, silent and we're going to place verbose. Make sure that there's a space between uh, the E of the last letter and that there's not joining to the next letter on the right. We're going to hit enter and DSS, well, now we're going to be restarting it. So let's go ahead and reset it. And then once this boots up, then you'll be able to see the list of all the, the what's being booting up if it failed or if it's okay. As you can see, it gets very frustrated when you have to keep expanding the window on the VMware workstation. So while that's booting, let's go ahead and look at our DSS v7 that we installed, and we see it's already booted up. So that's pretty pretty relatively quick. So as we go back to the verbose mode, you want to be able to make sure that when the DSS loads up that we're listing all the drivers that are components and functionalities are pulling up that are booting up and that they're functioning properly with the status of OK. Now in this case we're not seeing it. There's a reason why. It's because of what I wanted to show you is that when you make a change like that you have to wait. So you don't really want to be able to switch it off and power it off like I just wanted to point out to you. So let's go ahead and look at rescue mode. And then rescue mode is very interesting. If we go ahead, and this is where if you get stuck at 59%, and you can't boot past the DSS uh, at that point at 59%. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is where we want to go to the architecture. And we want to hit the tab key. And here is where we need to add the line. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to type rescue underscore mode equals no mount underscore LV for logical volume. Again, we hit enter. And then what it'll do is it'll start loading up without uh, it'll bypass and it'll go in rescue mode. Now, what will happen in rescue mode is that it's not mounting your volumes. So, which point allows you to go ahead and run the repair file system. So, the repair file system, in some cases, if you have uh, an electrical outage, 
or if there was a damage to the volume, maybe an electrical strike, that you can run the repair file system from the extended tools. Where to find that? It's very simple. You'll be in the console screen. So once you're up and you're past the 59% and you want to repair the file system, just do Control alt x You'll have to enter the GUI password that you set. In this case, the default is admin. And here is an option 9, repair file system on logical volume. This will cause a reboot. Okay, so what will happen is once you're able to boot past that 59% using that rescue mode uh, command that I provided you, and then you can go ahead, re-enter the password, and it will run the repair file system. So that will, if you have any um, incontiguous errors or inode issues, uh, this will clear it all up. So file check is pretty done. It was really relatively quick. Uh, we also didn't have a volume formatted, but that's the process of running the repair file system. And again, it will do a reboot. Here, if you look at the rescue mode and also for the verbose, this is what your output will come out to. So you can see where everything is being loaded uh, or if it failed or stopped. Here you see it also in the console screen that it's stating server is running in rescue mode. Of course, I'm running this as a trial version, so it still doesn't matter. All these functionalities still work with the trial version. So you can still do the volume replication, the active-active, active-passive. You can run snapshots. Uh, you can run all the other features of the, uh, what we have in the DSS V7 for your NAS, iSCSI, and Fiber Channel. So again, just to go over everything, run your MD5 checker with an MD5 checking program. Make sure that you download the zip version, uh, that you run this MD5 checker to verify with the MD5 file that you've downloaded. Once you do that, then you go ahead and you format your USB flash stick, or uh, you can go ahead and use the ISO image to install DSS v7 or v6. Just have just what we've shown here. Make sure your settings on your DSS v6 or v7 for your virtual machine that you make sure that you have at least two gig of memory uh, one or two processors but if you use one processor make sure you dual cores for performance and then of course on your CD-ROM make sure that you specify the ISO image additionally if you have your VMware workstation and you want to use that to test with uh, you probably want to set it for the bridge mode which would be this selection uh, unless you have certain other natting uh, requirements. Uh, so that's very simple how to install your DSS. Then you want to add additional capacity. So here at 8 gig, that will be for a volume. Okay, so I want to make sure everybody is, has an overview of that. Uh, you can change the network status here very simply. Do Control Alt N. If we go click inside the virtual machine and we do Control Alt N, which is for network, here I'm able to change the uh, IP address of the NIC. So once I select uh, edit and then of course I can change the IP address uh, to whatever for whatever octet or here um, I can make it 10.220 or for a class A, class B. Additionally if uh, what's really unique about this is if especially with some other issues that we've seen some bad packet errors uh, that we could tell in the logs if you go in here to info you will be able to see in the receive and the transmit for the bad packet errors drop packets overruns multicasts and so forth and collisions uh, once we uh, shown that you're able to get up access the dss v7 or v6 um, remember if you're having issues to use the rescue mode again just we'll do that once more for everybody's um, Memory and also for reference point is that if we go ahead and drop the system down, we'll use Control Alt K and do a restart. And here it'll restart the signal again in rescue mode. You'll be able to see in case it fails, you'll be able to notice uh, if the system is not restarting or if it did not shut down this is also a good tool to use um, there's some motherboards that may have issues with the commands uh, that we send out that we are shutting down the system and here there is one is called the read own file system that's nothing to be worried about so now we'll go back into the tab area remember you're clicking on tab to go into the bootloader and here we can change to either change the splash to equal verbose instead of silent or we could add 
rescue mode equals no underscore mount underscore LV. So let's do that once more. So you have to use the cursor key to move over to the left always. So you cannot use the up and down arrow keys, but you can use the left and right keys. So here we'll just change this to verbose. And then if we wanted to do rescue mode, we cursor over to the right until it completes all the way to the end. And we state rescue underscore mode equals no underscore mount underscore LV. And once you hit enter, this will then go ahead and reboot on its own. If you uh, shut down the system, um, may have to restart it again and enter those commands. Just let it sit as it's uh, setting up the bootloader and it'll go ahead and put those commands in there and you'll boot up with rescue mode and also to verbose. So as you see right now. So this is something I wanted to bring into everybody's attention. Uh, hope everybody learned a little bit about how to use some troubleshooting tips if our engineers ask for some information. If you're having an issue booting up DSS v6 or v7, these commands will help us and help you. Well, thank you everybody for joining the OpenE webinar and have a good day. Bye-bye.